What's going on, everybody? Ryan Williams here again on the FanDuel Hurry Up, and I'm here talking about players to avoid in season-long fantasy. That's right. We've been talking very positive on the FanDuel Hurry Up channel, but now we got to get into the we got to get into the nitty gritty because drafts are that maybe some have happened already. Preseasons over. Some are going to be happening uh, through the weekend into the uh, holiday week. So we definitely want to talk about some guys that you guys should be avoiding in your fantasy drafts. Let's start it off with a wide receiver in New York for the Giants. That's Kenny Galladay. Kenny Galladay's coming in at wide receiver 36. And while many people might tell you, okay, that's at the bottom tier of wide receiver three range. And we Kenny Galladay has major upside. We saw what he did in 2019, full healthy season, uh, 11 touchdowns. I believe that led the league that year um, in, in scores. But you're looking at a situation here with a hamstring injury, and this guy has injury history in the past, um, hasn't played a game in a meaningful game since November of 2020. That is cause for concern. Now dealing with this hamstring injury again that happened, I believe, in August, early August, August 5th, has not seen any type of action since then. And we were only told that he was going to miss two to three weeks. So his week one status is up in the air. We could be dealing with the situation just like last year where he's kind of day to day, day to day, and then not playing. And, and just in that range, I just think there's other, other areas that you can go in. You can take, you know, maybe a late round or mid round running back around that time. You can take another wide receiver who's going to be healthy that you can trust. Um, this offense, I don't think will be very good. They were bottom five in red zone and goal line plays last year. I think they could be looking to repeat that this year. And that's why I'm avoiding Kenny Galladay at that price tag. Let's talk about another guy. I think I might catch some flack from this uh, on, on, on Twitter and on YouTube in the comments. So I'll be curious to see, but this is a tight end. Uh, TJ Hawkinson for the Detroit Lions, who's coming in at tight end six with that price tag. And there's a little bit to like with TJ Hawkinson. We saw Anthony Lynn, who's coming in as the new offensive coordinator. He comes from the Chargers. Okay, so who is at the Chargers? Oh, yeah, Hunter Henry. And Hunter Henry had some success uh, with Anthony Lynn. And, and tight ends in the past have had some success as well. And so you're looking at TJ Hawkinson, who's just coming off of the Pro Bowl year. Uh, big stud, two years, 1,000 receiving yards in both years, really doing some stuff at the tight end position that we hadn't seen statistically. But now we have Jared Goff here at the helm. We don't have Matthew Stafford anymore it would be a lot more exciting to have Matthew Stafford there throwing him passes than Jared Goff and Jared Goff has not produced really a tight end one since that Tyler Higby year I believe in in 2019 and people have been trying to you know cling to that with Jared Goff and I just really don't see this offense being able to excel and when you're talking about tight end six there's just so many other wide receivers running backs maybe you take a quarterback in that range you're talking about him going right around the top 60 picks it just seems like you know, people want to say, okay, even if it's a bad offense, he's going to get all the targets. He's going to, you know, really excel. We we just don't know. We don't know uh, enough about the Lions offense and what to expect. There's favorites to be the uh, second to worst team in the league right now, if you're looking at the FanDuel Sportsbook. And so for that, for those reasons, that's why I find it hard to trust anybody in the Lions offense, and let alone a tight end where you have to draft him when you're talking about tight end six in right around the top 60 picks. Last but not least, let's talk about Michael Carter. And Michael Carter, uh, the running back for the Jets, I, I do apologize to you, Michael Carter, because I've been putting you through the ringer and you're only a rookie, haven't, haven't shown us anything yet. But this really comes down to just the situation here. I mean, you're looking at the, the depth chart for the Jets and they do have Telvin Coleman, they do have Ty Johnson. I don't even know if Michael Carter, who's really banged up right now and, and could be missing week one, is even going to be listed as their starter officially. And this guy's going at rb 33 and i get it rb is gross this year it's hard to kind of cling your hat on anybody who's pretty much going outside of the top 12 um so people want to feel like they're shoring up that spot later but when you can get guys like tevin coleman you know even 10 picks later you can get ty johnson pretty much 20 picks later still right now in drafts and i had talked about ty johnson uh, i believe last week on the FanDuel hurry up with you guys it's he wasn't playing much with the ones that's michael carter uh, in the preseason. And I just don't think that this team is really going to be relying on him, even with being a first round pick. I think that they're going to try and mix and match guys and they're going to let Zach Wilson throw. This defense is not going to be good. The secondary uh, is dealing with some issues of letting go of players. And I think Zach Wilson will have to pass and that will lead to uh, not having Michael Carter on the field as much as we think. So that's going to do it for 
my top three players that I think you should be avoiding in your season long drafts. Excited to hear your guys' thoughts. Hit me up on Twitter at Ryan Alexander underscore W. You can comment on the YouTube channel. Uh, I'll be sure to get to you guys as we monitor how these picks are doing in season long drafts. But until that, I'll catch you guys next time on the FanDuel Hurry Up channel. Enjoy your holiday weekend. Peace.